All right. So if there's one topic in this unit one that's super important, it's going to be a lot of the questions on our on our test. It's going to be enzymes. Enzymes, special proteins that speed up chemical reactions in the body, also called catalysts. A catalyst is anything that speeds up a chemical reaction. All right. So this video is going to be all the notes, all the things you're going to need to know about enzymes. All right, so your first page of notes on enzymes. So enzymes are special proteins. They're made of proteins that speed up chemical reactions in the body, make them happen much, much faster. Now, they're also called catalysts. They're biological catalysts because a catalyst is any substance that speeds up a chemical reaction. So since enzymes do that, they're considered catalysts. All right, so remember, enzymes are made of protein. And proteins are made of the monomers, the little subunits called amino acids. So if this was a protein, each individual Lego would be an amino acid. And this, and the sequence, the order of these amino acids is what's going to give the protein its shape. So the order of amino acids gives proteins their unique shape. So you can see over here, these are all the amino acids, asparagine, glycine, phenylalanine, glutamic acid. So it's the sequence, the order of these amino acids when put together that's going to give the protein its, its three-dimensional shape. And it's that shape there that's going to determine what its, what its job is. So the shape of an enzyme determines its function, what its job is. And enzymes almost always end in the letter, letters A-S-E, A's. So amylase, that's an enzyme. Protease, that's an enzyme. Nuclease, sucrase, maltase, those are all enzymes. So if it ends in A-S-E, A's, it's going to be an enzyme. All right, so another little page of key terms. So these terms aren't really complicated. You just got to practice them so you remember them. So, you know, for the most part, that's what biology is, just remembering these new terms. All right, so substrates, that's a new term for you. That's the reactants. That's kind of like the ingredients. That what, that's what goes into a chemical reaction. And the enzyme is going to change that substrate into something else. So in this picture right here, it's this green thing. That's the substrate. That's the substance that the enzyme, the enzyme is right here in gray. So this, this enzyme right here is going to change this green substrate, and it's going to turn it into this. It's going to turn it into the products. So that's what the enzyme makes. So the substrate comes in to the chemical reaction. It's going to fit in this spot right here. It's got the perfect shape. You can see that this shape is the same as the shape of this substrate. And that spot on an enzyme where the substrate fits in is called the active site. Active site. Active site. The spot on an enzyme where the substrate fits perfectly. So if that shape gets changed, that substrate will no longer fit in the active site and the enzyme will no longer work. So in this, in this case, the substrate moves in and the enzyme is going to break this substrate apart. This green is going to turn into the, uh, the products, you know, this blue thing and this, and this orange thing. So it turned the green thing into the products over there on the right. So this could be, if this was like uh, an enzyme that breaks down carbohydrates, this could be starch, you know, like if you eat a potato chip. And the enzyme is going to break it down that starch into the sugars. Because remember, carbohydrates are made of sugars. All right, so the product is what the enzyme changes the substrate into. So the substrate goes in, and the enzyme is going to change it and turn it into the products. So on the last slide, we saw that the shape of an enzyme was very important. Because that active site's got to have the perfect shape where the substrate will fit into it. Well, what are some things that can change the shape of enzymes? What, what can cause that shape to change? And another word for changing its shape is called denature. So that's just a process where an enzyme shape is changed. And then when it, when it gets denatured, denaturation causes an enzyme to become ineffective. So it doesn't work as good or it doesn't work at all. So what are two things that can change the shape of an enzyme? Number one, extreme temperature. So you can see over here, you got some boiling water. Most enzymes do not like extreme high temperatures. Another thing is, is called extreme pH. And that is a measure of how acidic, how, you know, if it's an acid, or how alkaline or basic a solution is. So some enzymes do like it to be acidic, like enzymes that are in your stomach, because there's a lot of acid in your stomach. So those enzymes need it to be acidic, but most of them like it to be kind of neutral around pH of 7. So remember, 7 is neutral. Anything lower than 7 is an acid, and anything higher than 7 is a base. And 7 would be like pure water. It's neutral. It's not an acid or a base. And the last little slide here just shows the rate of reaction, enzymes' rate of reaction. So on the left, we have temperature. 
So you can see this enzyme, it works at 10 degrees Celsius. 10 degrees is pretty cold. It works, but it doesn't work that great because, you know, it's way down here on the graph. And as you heat it up, 15, 20, 25, the enzyme starts to work, starts to work better. So it's working faster. And it peaks right about, what about here? So that would be roughly, a, it's about somewhere between 35 and, so it's going to be about 37 degrees Celsius, roughly 30. That's when it works the best. And you can see at 50, it doesn't work at all. So when, when it, between, you know, anything below 10, it's not going to work, and anything above 50. And this is because it got too hot. 50 degrees Celsius is, is well over 100 degrees. So it became too, too hot, and it changed the shape of that enzyme. It denatured it, and now it can no longer work. And you can see the same thing over here with pH. So remember, 7, so right here, between 6 and 8, that 7 would be, would be neutral. That's not an acid or a base. And that's where the enzyme works really well when it's close to, it looks like when it's close to seven or maybe a little bit above. So between seven and eight, the enzyme's working the best. Down here at pH zero, which is a super strong acid, the enzyme doesn't work at all because the acid changes the shape of the enzyme. Now that active site, the substrate won't fit into it anymore and the enzyme doesn't work. And you can see once it gets above like nine pH, so nine would be right about here. What, you know, anything over nine, that, that the effectiveness, how well the enzyme works, goes down. And it looks like probably above 10 or 11, the enzyme will quit working at all because it's too powerful of a base. Base is the opposite of an acid. It has high pHs, and all, it also can change the shape of an enzyme. So two things that can change the, the rate of reaction of an enzyme, temperature and pH.